All right, so Flywheel have done it again. They've released another update for the 04 series, and this time it's the 04 Lite wide angle lens. It's not just an adapter, it's a full lens. Now, before you scroll away thinking, oh, another small little camera tweak, this one actually changes the footage quite a lot. So here's what's cool. You can grab the lens set up in a few different ways. So you can grab an adapter like we've done before, you can grab a whole new lens, which is what this is, or you can even buy a whole 04 light with the lens, with the brand new wide angle lens and the cage and everything for a little over a hundred pound. It's pretty mad value when you think about how much a standard 04 light is with its standard FOV. So we're flying the new Flywheel wide angle lens then for the 04 light and already, now I'm gonna to have to do some back to back tests because Memories don't hold out very well, but this already makes the 04 light look so, so good. Now, you're not going to be able to record, obviously, in a log profile because it is the 04 light still, and you're only going to have the range of what the 04 light is. However, <laughs> this is really good. Like, oh, now I am using a crazy heavy battery. Uh, which has put the balance a little bit offset, so we may not be able to do some crazy moves. However, the main thing we need to be doing is checking the differences in these cameras. And for that, we don't need to do crazy moves. Already though, the, the, the improvement is massive. It, it almost feels, and I've got to be too careful here, but it almost feels like the image quality is improved. And I don't quite know how, because I assume it's just the same lens. Well, no, maybe it's not the same lens. Maybe I need to actually, um, you know, research the product before I fly it. But this is so much better. Like I said, the only slight issue is I'm using batteries way too big. But initial impressions are pretty damn amazing, I can't lie. I think Fly was selling the whole package with the, the lens and the VTX for like $100. Which when you consider how much a light is, etc. That's pretty impressive, I think. The limitations of this drone because of the batteries that we've put on it. So what we're going to do is just, this is for the, this, I'm almost speechless. This just does not feel RF like, signal oh, RX loss, that's a problem. This just does not feel like the 04 light at all. I don't know why I got RX loss there. Um, now I'm sure on a more sort of bright day, it might be a bit of an issue, but I'm not running the ND filler purely because it's not bright enough to. Whereas you can get the uh, ND filters with it. The 04 light's never gonna give you the dynamic range of the 04 Pro. But if it can give you the field of view for less than half the price, it, why do I keep getting RX loss? Um, RF signal critical. Strange. Um, yeah, so if you can get some of the performance and the visualizations for half the price. It's... Now, quite often we use the phrase game changing. One thing you'll notice straight away is the noise difference. And I don't mean in the camera, I mean on the actual drone itself. This is a lot noisier the same tiny gaps because it is a bit of bit of a bigger drone but we can still put it in there do you know what I, I don't think the only difference is now we've got mist on the sort of bottom of the field so as we drop under it you may sort of see it on the camera there look 
I think there's more detail in the ground, but I don't think that's the lens. I think that's the light, isn't it? Um, or it could be how the camera's refracting light, to be fair, or how the lens is reflecting light, refracting light, to be fair. The conditions have changed somewhat. But even with the changeable conditions, I mean, there is more blue skies now than there was before, don't get me wrong. But overall, this looks and feels very, very similar. I'd say close enough, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna land it. Let's talk about what's actually changed because Flywoo is calling this a wide angle upgrade, but it's not just a gimmick. The new lens has a noticeably wider field of view, much closer to what you'd expect from the O4 Pro. And we'll look at them side by side as I'm saying this. That's a big deal for FPV pilots who love that immersive look. For the sample footage I've taken so far, the corners are sharp, the distortion is better controlled, and overall it's just a little bit more cinematic. You see more of your environment, makes it look like you're flying faster and smoother, and it's less work in post. The glass itself is a new optical formula with better coating against glare and colour fringing. Basically, they've turned the handle on the lighting, they've put a bit of a different lens in it rather than just an adapter, and now we're getting a much better version of the O4 light than stock. You can also get these really cool ND filters as well. So here's where it gets really interesting. The O4 light with this lens does feel a lot closer to the O4 Pro in terms of field of view. You're getting the same big open and immersive image, but without the premium price tag. Of course, the problem is it's still an 04 light at heart, which means you're still capped at 4K60. You've got no log or D-log footage and you don't have the color and the bitrate flexibilities that the Pro has, but you're also paying half of the price. And it gives you a massive improvement on what the standard 04 is. So would you actually buy one? Because I'm kind of torn. On one hand, it's not quite the Pro, but it's also really close to it for those that it doesn't really matter if it's the Pro or not. For me, it feels like Fly have really nailed that middle ground here. You're not paying Pro money, but you're getting maybe 80% of the Pro experience. And for pilots who just want clean, wide, buttery footage without all the grading, the hassle, and the narrow field of view, this could well be the sweet spot. So what do you think? Would you go for the O4 Lite wide angle setup from Flywoo? Or would you just stick with the Pro? Drop a comment. I am genuinely curious as to how many of you think this is worth the upgrade. Anyway, that's my take on this wide-angle lens. I think it's worth the upgrade. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. And I'll catch you on the next video. You've all been legends as always. Thanks so much for the support. Peace. YouTube and I have had a chat. And we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.